Hello everyone, welcome back. I had a chance to try out the CZ P10C uh, this past week, uh, and I just wanted to give you guys my first impressions. Um, I've, I was basically training somebody on the gun, and uh, I got the opportunity to try it out. Um, and it, it, it definitely left an, a positive impression on me. I, I like the gun. I have not shot too many CZ guns in my in my you know uh, training career. Um, so, so it definitely left uh, an impression on me. The first thing was when I opened up the you know, when I took the gun, and I checked it to you know, I opened it to check it to make sure there was not a round in the chamber. I noticed that the that the slide was like really really smooth. Uh, now most breech locking guns, I mean they when you go to open it like they kind of like this you know they, because they're locked you know they have a, they they lock in place so it takes a little bit of extra oomph to open it up. Um, the CZ didn't have that. It just it just pulled back really nice. Uh, it makes me wonder if it has a different locking mechanism. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't look into that, but that's just again. I'm just giving you guys first impressions. You know, uh, you know when I went to open up the slide, it opened up really smooth, smoother than I think any other gun other than 22s I've, I've that, that I've that I've locked open. Um, so really, really, really smooth slide action. Next thing I did is when I shot the gun, um, really nice trigger. I mean, the, the 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 trigger definitely left an impression on me. Like uh, usually when I shoot my Glocks, I have to make a conscious effort to, you know, pull the trigger a little bit to the right as I'm as I'm squeezing to keep the gun centered. I really didn't have to do that with the CZ. I was just pressing the trigger and it was just it was just hitting the targets uh, really nice. So really nice trigger, and, and again, I only spent, um, you know, I only shot maybe about 20, 30 rounds on it, so I'm like really giving you guys first impressions on it. Uh, really smooth trigger, but the thing that, that really caught my attention is that um, this gun comes with a red dot cutout, uh, and this is a $550 gun. This is what this guy paid for the gun. He, he just bought it this past week, and that this is during the uh, coronavirus, you know, uh, panic buying. So uh, he was able to buy this gun for five hundred and fifty dollars, which makes me think that, um, you know, it might be cheaper, um, you know, during regular, you know, non-panic buying times. So he paid five fifty. It has the red dot cutout. Uh, you know, basically, I in I've been planning to buy the Palmetto uh, PSA nine. Um, you know, because the, the, they got one coming out with the red dot cutout that's supposed to be three hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, that was supposed to come out in March. We're now at the end of March. I still don't see it. Um, and I, I really want to get a, a a gun with a red dot cutout um, soon. Okay. Uh, you know, at first I was considering the Hellcat. Then Palmetto, you know, was going to come out with with their gun, so I was ready to jump on that. It's still not here. If for any reason Palmetto drops the ball, I'm probably going to jump on this uh, CZ P10C um, and, and get a red dot on that. Now, the one thing, though, is the I don't think the sights are, are suppressor height. In, in other words, I don't think that once I, when I mount the red dot on that gun, I don't think I'll be able, I'll get a co-witness. Okay? I, I think I might have to change the sights, whereas the Palmetto... Uh, PSA 9 that's supposed to be coming out that's already got suppressor height sight set you know on the gun so all I gotta do is just put the red dot and I'll be able to get an automatic co-witness and that gun the PSA 9 um, will take standard Glock mag so that's another reason why I'm kind of holding out hoping that Palmetto comes out with their PSA 9 uh, dagger soon um, but the um, you know the, the the Hellcat was an alternative that I was considering, and now this um, this CZ P10C I, I, I don't know why they give these guns these complicated names, but um, that's that's probably going to be my fallback option because, like I said, I definitely want to get a um, a, a a pistol with a dedicated um, red dot. So I, I was really impressed with this gun for five hundred fifty dollars. Um, you know, really smooth trigger, really smooth slide action, really comfortable in the hand. Um, I can't say anything about reliability because, like I said, I haven't. Sh the guy just bought the gun. I only shot, you know, 20 or 30 rounds through it. Uh, but really nice and, you know, and comfortable to shoot. Uh, I was hitting targets really 
easy with it. So those are my first impressions. I hope they're it's it's useful to you. Uh, and like I said, I haven't shot too many CZ guns, uh, but after shooting this one, I'm definitely gonna be like like thinking about CZ a little bit more. Um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.